Alright, next question. Uh, this is the one that I get asked more than all the others combined. So it's one that I am rather sick of being asked. Uh, not least because I've already answered it at least three times um, in certain videos. So hopefully, it's a faint hope, but hopefully people will see the title to this video and watch it to find out rather than fucking asking me for the billionth time. Why do I continue playing the game when I hate it? Uh, now I've already had like three stabs at answering this and the answers just went on and on and on and they were too fucking long so I just stopped them. I want to try and keep them as brief as possible. So skipping all of like the, the, the detailed stuff, I was a fan of Elite, I was a fan of Frontier, and if I'm playing the D3D version, I even think of myself as a fan of First Encounters, now that it actually works. So from the moment I first found out about this game, which was about 18 months or so before I finally uh, bought the... Uh, beta version and then started playing it in beta 1 um, I was always extremely keen uh, to see this game become reality to actually see it released and so I thought fuck it I'll uh, take part in the beta but it didn't take me very long to see that it was a bot's job right from the start. So I continue playing it because I am basically holding Frontier Developments to account. Now bearing in mind that Frontier Developments want your money and they deemed this to be good enough for you to spend your money to buy it and then buy all of, well all of the uh, expenses at the moment there's only one and then probably pay fuck knows how much in as many microtransactions as they can get out of you and so on and so on now if you were to look at the vast majority of uh, Elite Dangerous videos on YouTube assuming you don't have the game yet, you would think that the game is absolutely superb because that's what just about everybody says. It's fucking brilliant, there's nothing wrong with it, it's absolutely spot on, it's exactly what it should be. Fucking bollocks, is it? Uh, there have been issues with it from day one. Uh, the Kickstarter basically sold the game on a lie. Um, when it was saying about there being an offline solo mode. When Frontier Developments finally announced that the offline solo mode was cancelled, we'd already seen quite clearly that uh, the engine the game used meant that an offline solo mode was never in the pipeline at all. Uh, there are also promised features that are still not there. Uh, there are... Um, features that have been implemented and they've all been implemented in the most rudimentary and basic way possible. There are bugs like you wouldn't fucking believe. There are glitches everywhere. There are unfinished features which almost look like they have been abandoned. And it's just a fucking insult that they consider this worthy of your money. But like I say, most of the channels um, don't mention that part. They just keep saying how great the game is and etc, etc. Now when 2.3 was released, the, the latest update, it was such a fucking, well, a complete fuck up from the word go, that even some of the uh, channels that normally say that the game is endlessly fucking wonderful, even they were criticising it. Even Brown Nose of Supreme uh, Obsidian Ant did a video criticising 2.3. That's how bad it got. 
but I've been pointing out flaws I've been making criticisms right from the start because if you're going to spend your money on this game I think you need to know exactly what it is you're buying or maybe you won't buy it once you've seen the state it's in so if I in my very small part am affecting sales of Elite Dangerous then yeah, job done maybe they'll actually start fixing it um, and uh, you know they may actually come to the amazing conclusion that fixing the game may result in more people buying it there's a fucking brainwave for you now I have no like delusions of grandeur uh, my following is extremely small which um, one person very recently uh, in a comment stated there's a reason for that there's more than one reason there are plenty of reasons firstly this channel absolutely does not appeal to the masses and that's how I want it to stay if I wanted it to appeal to the masses I'd be acting like a cunt like fucking uh, what's his name Jack Septic Eye now the moment I do anything that's similar to Jack Septic Eye I'm just going to fucking get rid of the channel completely I don't want anything to do with that cunt so it appeals to the intelligentsia not the masses secondly I do absolutely nothing to publicize the channel at all um, so anybody who finds my videos has done so because uh, they've just searched for whatever and nine times out of ten they don't like what they see because I'm being honest about their beloved game that they think is so fantastic another reason is that people claim to like honesty uh, when in fact they don't um, they like it providing you're not being honest in a negative way about something that they like then they hate it likewise people always uh, there have been several occasions when people say they like my brutal honesty but when that brutal honesty was uh, aimed towards them suddenly they didn't like it anymore um, rusty dog daddy 07 uh, life school amiga there's three examples straight off the top of my head there are some who can take it and and laugh it off which is all it's all it fucking deserves but uh, yeah, there are plenty you can't do that. In which case, this is not the channel for you. So yeah, I, that's that's what this channel is about. I, well, the, rather this playlist, this entire channel is not just dedicated to Elite Dangerous. If it was, I'd now be in a fucking institution. Um, but uh, yeah, the Elite Dangerous videos are to hold Frontier Developments to account and to point out the real condition of the game and uh, so that anybody considering buying it if they see my videos will have a more realistic um, sort of opinion of it rather than you know because if they see any of the others the chances are they're going to think well this game's fucking great and everything in it works and all that and then they'll spend like you know their 30 quid or ever on Elite Dangerous and then another 20 quid on Frontier on Frontier on uh, Horizons and then realize that the game is bugged to fuckery and uh, glitch ridden and unfinished and they will have basically wasted their 50 quid so yeah that's what this channel or this my elite dangerous videos are all about and that is why i continue playing the game for another reason of course if i w didn't play the game then the brown noses would leap to the uh, defense of their beloved by pointing out that i barely play it therefore i don't know what i'm talking about if there is one thing they cannot say it's that one important point that I forgot to uh, mention in that first part, so I'm adding it here because it definitely needs to be said, is that uh, 
I do not want to hate the game. Like I already pointed out, I was a big fan of Elite, I was an even bigger fan of Frontier, I was one of the few people who preferred Frontier to Elite, and like I say, playing the D3D version of uh, First Encounters, I'm a big fan of that. In fact, now that it's working, and I, I have the D3D version, I would go so far as to say that f First Encounters is the best of the three. So I want to like this game. I want it to be good. And that is what fucks me off about it the most, is that I am one of a huge number of people who play this game because they remember the, the classic from 84, 85. And what we've been given is insulting. So, you know, I'm not one of these cunts, and there are plenty on YouTube who do it, who just endlessly bash a game just because it gets them hits. Uh, I, I do not see the point in, you know, endlessly bashing a fucking game that you actually like. Um, just, well, as a prime example of that, uh, Daddy O7's videos. Um, before he twice deleted his uh, channel and uh, now as a result of deleting his channel twice he he can't even buy subscribers with his third one um, but he used to keep saying you know, he used to keep bashing various aspects of it although he only did it purely because I was he, he basically took what I said and repeated it parrot fashion quite literally parrot fashion because his own genuine opinion wasn't even close to mine he thought everything about the game was great and he still thinks everything about the game is great so why the fucking hell did he waste his time as well as the time of the people watching by saying certain aspects are shit and certain aspects are not important he kept on saying that, that when they improved the graphics oh it wasn't important which is my opinion and then he did about three or four videos consecutively all saying look how great these wonderful new graphics are so yes i want to like the game i want it to be good and that's why i am so fucked off by the, the state that it is in um so that is another thing that spurs me on so i continue playing it because I want it to be good. Now after two and a half years it's highly unlikely that it ever will be. Um, the overwhelming majority of people I uh, know who bought this game now don't play it. I'd say there are maybe five people left that uh, play the game either regularly or semi-regularly um, whereas within like say the first six months of uh, the game coming out uh, it was probably nearer 50 uh, so that's that speaks uh, volumes uh, so uh, some of those include people who were around in 84 5 and were big fans of elite so they were really keen uh, about this game when they first heard about it and then when they got it they just could not believe what a shit fest uh, you know they saw it, it was just diabolical it has improved I mean if you look at it well if you look at it from say 2.2 2.3 has been such a fucking disaster that I don't know if I could say it's improved at the moment. But you look at 2.2 and compare it to what was there when the game was first released, yes it has improved. But uh, it's taken a ludicrous amount of time to get there. Which, uh, uh, that's another point. During the Kickstarter, at no time was there ever any mention of this fucking bullshit 10 year development plan. That cropped up 
I, I think it was just before release. Suddenly they they said that that was go that was the intention, and then they said that that was the intention all along. Well, if it was the intention all along, why the fuck didn't you mention that in the Kickstarter? Oh, could it possibly be that because nobody would have bothered um, backing it then? Now, I'll back again now. We'll release it in you know 2012 or whenever it fucking came out. Uh, no, 2014. Uh, and um, yeah, by 2024, it will actually be finished. Fuck yeah! It's just another insult from them. Anyway, uh, so that that's quite enough then on this subject. So yeah, long-winded reply, but that is why I could still play the game.